This video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to focus on a particular feature of Sword Searcher. Rather, I'm going to show you the way Sword Searcher works with a book. Sword Searcher is not just another Bible program. It's unique. Consider the Park Street and Metropolitan Tabernacle Pulpit. A huge work, 63 volumes, over 3,500 sermons. The thought of having all these books on my shelf and having to find what I want in there is daunting. The sheer volume of it. Let's look at it in Sword Searcher. I'll open the book by typing pulpit in the search bar. And here it is, the Park Street and Metropolitan Tabernacle Pulpit. If it's okay with you, I'm just going to say Tabernacle Pulpit from now on. I'll click it, and now it's open here in the Books panel. Here's a library tab, CHS Sermons. This is the abbreviation for this book at Sword Searcher. I'll maximize it for a moment, and here you can see the first sermon. Now, I'm interested in sermons on light, so I could just type light into the entry selector here. Good, there's several to choose from. But what if I'm not so much interested in the topic light as I am in John chapter 1 where the Bible talks about the light that shineth in the darkness? Wouldn't it be great if I could easily see all of the sermons on John 1? Well, let's go back to the main display. I'm going to put John 1 in the main search box. So you can see the Bible panel is set to John 1, but now look over here at the verse guide. It's showing me all of my library material that references John 1. Since I'm interested in the Tabernacle Pulpit, I'm going to change the sort mode to show me book names first. You can do that on the menu here. Sort entries by book. I'm going to scroll down. And here's the Tabernacle Pulpit. It tells me that there are 38 sermons that reference John chapter 1. Remember that we're talking about a 63 volume set with over 3,500 sermons, and Sword Searcher just narrowed it down to 38. And this wasn't a search, it's instantaneous in the verse guide. Of course, I can click these to open them in the book panel below. What about these links in the Bible margin? If I find myself coming to this book often, I can add it to my Bible margin links like this. Just right click on the tab and select to include it in the Bible margin. Now when there's something from this book that references a verse, the verse gets a link like this. And this shows me all the sermons that reference John 1.1. 1, 1. Of course, I can click these to load them in the book panel. And if I always want the Tabernacle Pulpit tab visible, I could do that too. Just right click the tab and select to add it to the default visible tabs list. Now it will always be visible. Another way to use books is with the topic guide. You can open it with this button here. I'm going to type light in here again. The topic guide is showing me all of the entries in the Sword Searcher library with the word light in the title. I can also change this to book title. And again, here are the pulpit sermons. I hope this gives you an idea of how Sword Searcher can help you use books when you're studying or preparing a message. I didn't exhaust Sword Searcher's tools in this video. For example, you can also do a thorough search through any or all of the books in the library. So there's still more to see. Give it a try.